what's up everybody I just wanted to give you guys a quick video on how we do our shower curves so we have this one uh, let's see what is our length now after all our backers 44 and a half so we do two by fours under, underneath they're stacked and then our shower membrane the OD rubber membrane that you can get at any of the big box stores and then a little bit of thin set and then we take our backer and fold it over and screw it and then we use mesh tape the uh for backer or whatever cement board product you're using and there's a couple different mesh tapes that i've uh, come across lately and this is the typical one that you get from Home Depot, Lowe's, or whatever. And it's only two inches wide. And the problem with, or that I've always wondered about with this is that when you go to come over a corner, fold over a corner, you only have really like three quarters of an inch on one side and then like half an inch on the other. And that doesn't really do any good. So we've always, you know, doubled it up you know like done done that or tripled it up actually gone like that and then down more heat more here and then more here so i was looking for alternatives and uh even the tile shops around us in michigan here don't carry this so i had to find it on amazon or i searched on amazon and this is the same thing i'm pretty sure it's the same brand as uh yep fiber tape yep fiber tape and this is a four inch roll so look at that that's way better coverage and that'll help help hold a lot better um i'll leave a link in the description for you guys so if you want to pick this up it is about twice the price but it's also twice the tape so i wouldn't use this everywhere but definitely on inside and outside corners this is where this is gonna be real handy and an awesome product for us and uh, so yeah, let me, uh, I guess I'll get started and show you guys how we do it. It's nothing really complicated, just like doing drywall work. Make sure you're getting any cracks and crevices, nail holes, all that kind of good stuff. You want it to be rock solid. It doesn't have to be crazy thick, it's just there to adhere the tape to the backer board or cement board. Let's call it cement board because this backer board is a brand. And it's sticky on one side, so I'm gonna lay the sticky side up while I cut it. And I'm just gonna take my knife, like you see drywallers do with tape, and uh, rip it. Actually, if you watch any of my other videos of me doing this, 
I'm probably doing this the same way. And this uh, fiber tape is a lot stronger than paper tape for drywall, so you actually you got to like really commit to it and give it a good uh, give it some pressure and a good pull. And then I like to which I did, yeah. I like to set it up. Just like drywall. Except paper tape has a seam already set in the center of it. And the curb from on the inside of the shower from your finished tile to the top of your finished curb needs to be at least two inches. So they don't have to be this big. This is usually what this is what a lot of people do. If you buy those pre-made curbs, which I don't recommend because it's just silly foam. And if you're relying on foam to stand on, it's, I don't see how that's good. But uh, yeah, it only has to be two inch or finish to finish floor in the shower to finish to the curb. <clears throat> Top of the curb has to be two inches where we're at. Where you are at, I don't know. But there's a good reference for you. And then you just push it in. Make your corner nice. If you don't like getting messy, I would highly recommend you don't do tile. Okay, and you keep a bucket of water handy. Always when you're doing tile, keep a bucket of water and a couple sponges, always. And you want to try to get this on there without having it super thick because then you create bumps like all these. This all has to be taped too, all this stuff, all these seams and corners. You want to try to get it on there without make, make, making it like bulge out because that'll just make your tire job a lot harder. Or you're going to make yourself have to do a whole bunch of floating, which is not easy. And if you're looking up, if you're watching videos on how to do a shower curb, you definitely don't want to be trying to do floating. So that means you're new to the game. Well, that's it. If you like the video, like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, I do what I can and uh, just put out videos on whatever I'm working on when I can. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.